Yeah, hi everyone. So <clears throat> in the previous video, we were writing, uh, we completed writing the API for processing of the file. Uh, and uh, in this video, we will uh, write the API for querying the PDF. Uh, we have already completed the file upload where we uploaded the file to S3, created an index in the Victor database. Process In the process API, we are creating the embeddings for each page and we are saving it in the vector database and we have updated our MongoDB with that file status as is processed. Now in this, uh, now our uh, major part of the project is done because our embeddings are ready, our file is ready. Now the user wants to query. Uh, he wants to uh, ask questions and we want uh, that query to be uh, query to be answered with the correct answer or the best possible answer. So I will create uh, an API route and we'll name it as query. Okay, now in this, uh, Explore default function. We'll make it as async. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, first we'll check if post call. We want it to be post call. Uh, now, in the post call, uh, basically the user will be sending the uh, request. Uh, uh, the query this is the query, and we will and the ID uh, of the file ID as well. Only then we can see for uh, only then we can query uh, that index. So uh, we'll ask the, ask the user to send query and the ID. So after that we will connect to uh, MongoDB. Then after that we will query the file by ID. So query the uh, model uh, by ID, the ID that user has sent, and then we will get the embeddings for the query so the, because we have to convert the query into an embedding so we will be using the open AI embedding model to get the embeddings once the embedding is ready we will initialize uh, the pine cone and then we will connect to that index and once we are connected to the index another thing is we will query uh, 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 we will query with the embed query embeddings into our uh, pinecone database. So we will query the pinecone database, and uh, once we have the result uh, ready, if we have the uh, whatever uh, the results pinecone returns, so using that we will build a prompt. Uh, we will build a prompt uh, because uh, this prompt we have to send to the OpenAI to the OpenAI completion model along with the actual query. And then build the prompt with with actual uh, query string and pine cone returned metadata. So basically, we'll pull out the metadata, and then uh, finally we'll get the completion from OpenAI, and then we'll return the response. Okay, so uh, let me quickly check. We'll check for the post call. We'll connect to the MongoDB. We'll query the model by ID. We'll get the embeddings for the query. We'll initialize the pinecone. We'll connect to the index and we'll query the pinecone database and uh, build the prompt. Before that, maybe uh, I should specify that we will be uh, get the uh, metadata from the so we will get the met metadata from the pinecone results and then uh, next step will be to yeah so these are the steps that we will follow now the good thing is we don't have to write any extra functions because all open initialize everything is already written we'll, we'll keep we'll, uh, just quickly write this uh, out uh, this so we'll say if uh, request that method is not equal to post so of course we are going to turn the rest dot this invalid request that's fine no problem uh, now the next thing is we will uh, get the yeah from the post call we'll get the id and query with the user will post and we will get it from requested body okay so this looks fine and uh, yeah next is connect to uh, mongodb uh, yeah so we'll say await connect db so from here we will connect next is to query the model by id so 
to query the model by id we'll say const my file is equal to await my file model dot find by id id okay so we will find by id if not equal to my file uh, so we can say return let me start status 400 dot json will return a message says invalid file id okay this looks fine next is get the embeddings for our query so we'll, what we'll do is we'll get query embedding we'll say query embedding is equal to await get embeddings and we'll pass the query that we received uh, of course there are a lot of checks we can put whether the embedding is empty string or anything else but uh, i think uh, it's understood that uh, those things have to be put if we are going to uh, launch a product like this but i'm just leaving it i want to quickly finish it i don't want to take a lot of time so over here uh, initialize i will say pinecone and initialize okay so we'll initialize pinecone next is we'll connect to our index so index is await pinecone dot in sorry index uh, it has to be capital i index and uh, my file dot vector index which is, which is coming from of course the mongodb record and uh, yeah so once we get this now we will query our mongo uh, sorry our uh, mongo sorry vector pinecone database so we'll say query params or query request we'll create a query request with vector to be the vector will be the query embedding which we just got because in a vector database we can't query with a string we have to query only with an embedding with a vector so that is why we got this embedding from uh, openai now we are passing that to uh, uh, pinecone now thing is uh, now we want how many we want uh, how many results we want so we want top five and uh, we'll say include values true in the result and include uh, metadata we'll say true okay so uh, our query uh, request query query request is ready now we will pass it uh, this is just a parameter uh, this is a request we have not passed it to the index we'll do it now we'll say const result is equal to await index dot query this is something similar to uh, like we say select star from this, this table this is index dot query we are querying uh, the table uh, the index now the thing is next is we want to get the metadata out of it because it will return when we give an input as an embedding the output is also going to be an embedding but uh, because we have attached our strings with each embedding so in the response also when we get the embedding we will have metadata attached to each embedding so that embedding will extract so we'll call it context so let context is equal to result uh, meta sorry matches from the result will fetch the matches and then it is going to be an array so we'll say item item for each item will fetch the metadata and from there we'll get the text you can remember when we were processing the file we did save text uh, in the metadata this that's what we are fetching it out from here now <clears throat> yeah now the thing is uh, the context that we will get uh, is going to be uh, an array because we are doing uh, like this so what we'll do is we will uh, create uh, we'll, uh, we will join each because we have to use this in the prompt which we will send, send to completion api so what we'll do is we will join each item of the context array with a new line or with some kind of a separator so it could be anything i mean it's not required i'm just uh, doing it uh, but it's good to have it okay so we have the context uh, yeah next is we will build a prompt now uh, this prompt we will be sending to completion model so uh, I will, I'll just say prompt start answer the question based on the context below this what I will type answer the 
question D is on the context below and then we'll give new line so uh, this is the first line of the prompt that we will send to open AI in X is prompt end the last line we'll say yeah so we'll say question now this question maybe we can give a new lines here and we'll say question what is the question the question is what the user sent us it is the query basically and then we'll give a new line and we'll say answer this is a uh, kind of uh, this is the uh, question answer based kind of prompt when we uh, question and we want the completion model to answer so in this way the model understands that this was the question and now i'm supposed to give an answer so this is the way of building a prompt so this is the prompt start and end now we'll make the actual prompt so the prompt is going to be prompt start and then in between we'll keep the context uh, you can see we have new line at the start and ending so the prompt start after this we'll have some space and we'll put all the paragraphs from the, the, all the metadata and then we will ask a question uh, so first it will have the context and then it will ask the question and then we'll ask the completion model to give an answer okay fine so our prompt is ready now now the next thing is we will send this prompt to the completion model so we'll say let response is equal to await and get completion and we have to pass the prompt that's it so once we get the response so we will yeah, so this completion model will return the response so once we have the response we'll uh, return rest start status 200 the json and inside this we'll give the response so uh, this completes our query api and uh, in this uh, this was basically yeah, according to all uh, that we decided, this was the last API that we thought we will write. And uh, I just remember that in the upload, yeah, in the upload API, actually I forgot uh, to add a config. So uh, normally, whenever we over here, it's going to be a form data, and we don't want next years to parse parse it. So that is why we have to export uh, config. And uh, we don't want uh, it to parse for us because we already have formidable. So we'll just say false. Okay. So I think uh, all our APIs are done. At least major, all the major or the major chunk of the APIs are done. Now uh, I'll start uh, I, 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 one one small uh, API we have to write, which is for listing uh, where we will. Uh, we will return all the files that we have in the current uh, database so i'll quickly add that as well this is actually the last api and we'll say export default function handler request response and we'll say try i'll make it async and we'll say await uh, connect to db once it is connected so we'll say const files is equal to await my file model dot find we want all the files and then we will turn this dot status we it will be by default 200 and we'll return the files because we have to show all the files that the user has uh, on the ui and uh, if there is an error we'll say return let start status under dot uh, json search okay so uh, we are done with all the apis now in the next uh, video we'll start with uh, the ui part where we have to build the ui and then we will integrate all these apis and we'll test it